Do you even compress, bro? I really need a t-shirt of that. I don't have... Uh, this isn't a comp... Compression is one of the most used audio effects in the studio. I personally think it's even a bit overused in the studio. And that is because people quickly grab a compressor if they've got problems with, with something that needs to stand out in the mix. And slamming a compressor on it will quickly achieve that, but it isn't always the best way to do it. When you are using a compressor in the wrong way, you will risk that your sound will become a bit dull and that's something uh, we don't want. So a compressor is a really powerful tool to use but as a wise man said with great power comes great responsibility. So let me explain what a compressor actually does. So, uh, a graph uh, with uh, let, let, let's say the input signal over here and the output signal over there and then we will go up and uh, like this and are you guys really interested in this i think it's a bit boring okay so th this is how i really think it works a compressor changes the dynamic behavior of the thing you put into the compressor and this doesn't mean that it will make the difference between the loud and quiet parts uh, a lot smaller it will also change the behavior of the attack sustain and release of a sound. Let me explain. I've got a kick because you can hear this thing the best on a kick. Let's first listen to the dry kick. I'm pulling back the attack and changing the attack of the kick. And also the release, we can also do some things with the release. As you can hear, you can make a lot of different sounds from just one kick sample. Or just one sound. I use compression for two, uh, maybe three reasons. As I just showed you to really uh, shape sounds in a different way from a dynamic perspective. The second way is uh, when I want things to stand out in a mix, but I'm really careful with that and I actually only really need it on vocals because vocals tend to go up and down in uh, dynamic range uh, much more than the rest of my mix, so I need to flatten them out. And the third way is not really a compression way, but it's uh, limiting on the master bus. It's, it's the same thing in terms of, you know, squeezing the dynamic range and still really necessary to do it so that, that are the three ways I use it. So yeah I hope you learned something new from this video. If you did let me know. If you really want me to do a tutorial video on how to control a compressor and what the buttons really do, please let me know. I don't think it's necessary, there are so many tutorial videos on YouTube. Thanks for watching, if you liked this video give a thumbs up, if you didn't like this video give a thumbs down, well do a double thumbs down, that's amazing. Subscribe to this channel over there and check my other videos over there. I will see you guys in the next video, bye bye.